your visitor. Welcome to the Rapisteria YouTube channel. Hmm. Filming in the mirror doesn't help. Peter speaking. <laughs> okay. I'm not so important in this case. You don't have to see me all the time. Anyway, it's that hygiene topic again. Offensively because for the last one I got only one reaction which was a dislike for the washing hands video. So I thought you might have potential for another one. Here is my setup for washing hands in my toilet. And I give you a tour of my toilet cabinet. Don't worry, it's the lid is closed. But here's one part. This is all my stock of toilet paper. I don't need more. I'm alone. This will last for many months. So I don't have to panic by uh, 100 cubic meters of toilet paper for myself. This is just what I normally have. So I don't consider myself a doomsday prepper or anything. I just take some precautions and I think if I can do it, you can do it too. Here what we have, some cleaning agents I regularly use for the toilet anyway. And this is just a multi-purpose cleaner. And here is a stack of those cloths. Uh, I think they are called fleece in German. Spül und Allzwecktuch, Chiffon, Vesel et Dusage. It's just a very basic piece of cloth you can use for washing, cleaning, everything. But its important part it's washable at 95 degrees centigrade. So those can be washed and are they are multi-use, so they are more or less ecological. And the idea is, here we have a normal towel, but I would not recommend to use this too much because it can't be guaranteed it's clean. When somebody dried their hands with it, there is something on there. Back to autofocus, this is the sink, this is quite a basic one, only cold water and this is a drawback here, but at least yeah, there is water. Those towels I showed you here are for drying your hands actually, and they should be placed in this bag afterwards. And so they are used once and then I wash them. Here you have the soap. You have another special soap if you need to. This is a more acidic based washing solution, which is specially mild. I just had it around. And so it's here. So you have kind of two types of cleaning. I recommend the soap, as does every health authority around the globe by now. And probably they did it for centuries before. Just some people seem to have a problem listening to it. So, to walk you through the process, you wash your hands the usual way. You can use this one, which is partly soaked in the cleaner you have seen before, in the multi-purpose cleaner, to turn off 
or you can turn it off using your arm or something. It works quite well. You can let me demonstrate. Oops, you can't turn it on with your hand, without your hand, but you can easily turn it off, not touching it with your fingers. But anyway, this one is here for general cleaning. You have the cleaning agent here, you can clean the door handle and everything before you go out, before you touch it. If you want, everything is here. You wash your hands, you take one of those cloths here and you dry your hands and you put the cloth down here and then you're basically done. If you have to switch off the light, you take this one, you can use the normal soap with it or you can use cleaner and then you clean everything you are going to touch on the way out before you touch it so you can be really safe here by washing your hands that way if you are less concerned Okay, it's kind of up to you, but probably it is not because reasons you have heard it. Some people can't be vaccinated, could not even be vaccinated if there was a vaccine. And some people have some illnesses, something chronic, and they can't protect themselves. And so we do not have any problems, have to make sure we don't get them anything. That's what I think. Thank you for watching and that's everything for today. Bye and I hope to see you again on the Habis CA YouTube channel one day.